In this video, we are going to work on the fifth problem in IMO 1963 to prove that cosine of pi over 7 minus cosine of 2 pi over 7 plus cosine of 3 pi over 7 is equal to a half. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. My first step will be to replace the subtracting term into an adding term. So I'm going to rewrite this as minus cos of pi minus 5 pi over 7, simply replacing 2 pi over 7 by pi minus some other number. Then recalling that cosine of pi minus some angle is equal to negative of cosine of that same number. So in other words, I'm going, I can say that cosine of pi minus theta equals minus cosine theta. So this term will be equal to minus of minus cosine 5 pi over 7, which means it's equal to plus cosine 5 pi over 7. So now the equality I have to prove becomes cosine pi over 7 plus cosine 3 pi over 7 plus cosine 5 pi over 7 equals a half and notice that the left hand side is still quite good looking because the terms inside cosine are just odd numbers times pi over 7 so they still have they still form a pretty good pattern next I'm going to perform a trick which is to multiply this expression by sine of pi over 7 expanding I will have sine pi over 7 times cos pi over 7 plus sine pi over 7 times cos of 3 pi over 7 plus sine of pi over 7 times cos of 5 pi over 7. After that, I'm going to recall the product to some formula which says that sine of some angle A times cosine of another angle B will be equal to one half multiplied by sine of, it's the compound angle actually, A plus B added by another compound angle sine of A minus B. So from this I can rewrite these products of sines and cosine into sums of compound angles so it will become a half of sine of 2 pi over 7 minus sine of 0. In fact, for the first term, this can actually also be done by recalling the double angle formula. As for the second term, we will have again a half multiplied by sine of 4 pi over 7 added by sine of minus 2 pi over 7 so after that will become a subtract by sine of 2 pi over 7 and for the third term it will be added by a half multiplied by sine of 6 pi over 7 plus sine of negative 4 pi over 7 so then Simplifying, we'll have half of sine 2 pi over 7 plus sine of 4 pi over 7 minus sine of 2 pi over 7 plus sine of 6 pi over 7 and finally minus sine of 4 pi over 7. Notice that we have actually um, come into a um, telescoping sum. The other terms are all cancelled out by um, the subtracting sum afterwards. So at last we have a half of sine of 6 pi over 7. Now notice that this expression can actually be rewritten as half of sine of pi minus pi over 7. 
we're calling that sine of pi minus theta supplementary angles are equal under sine. So that means we have half of sine pi over 7. So after considering the product, we've got that multiplying by sine of pi over 7, I will get a half of sine pi over 7. So these two expressions are equal. And in particular, we can cancel these out, the sine of pi over 7. And so altogether, we'll have this sum to be exactly equal to a half. So we've completed the proof.